Hey Guineans, have you ever heard the words Hachimon Tanko? Literally translated means eight inner gates, and it's a kinjutsu that only those who have the guts and courage to carry out and extremely rigorous training can learn. So this time you are going to know the seven best users of this kinjutsu. Seventh place. We begin with a ninja who unexpectedly and to the surprise of many we did not think he had access to this deadly technique, Kakashi Hatake. That's right, the Rakudai Hokage can also use the eight inner gates. However, not having strength in his body with the necessary training, he can only open the first gate. This is in the brain and opening it allows the user to eliminate the limits that the brain imposes on the muscles in order to be able to use 100% of the strength. If you wonder where we can see an example of Kakashi activating this door, well in episode 55 of Classic Naruto, we see him climbing a cliff with only one hand, but seeing that he could not make it, he decides to open the first gate. In 6th place is Metal Lee, who not only inherited the determination of his father, but in the words of Kishimoto, is an outstanding genius in the Lee clan who has the endurance and toughness necessary to keep up with his father in his heavy training. In 5th place is Shinu, who is the main villain in the second Naruto Shippuden movie, Loops for those who haven't seen it. Shinu claims to be able to use the 8 inner gates without any collateral damage by combining it with a dark chakra with the Jutsu reanimated body, which grants him superhuman speed, strength, and healing. Although this movie is not canonical, so you can ignore this position without any problem. In the 4th place we have the students of Bushibrow, who appeared in the movie The Last, since after the events of Naruto Shippuden, Mike Guy, along with his adored apprentice, Rock Lee, set up a kind of academy to extend the physical arts, and well, it seems that it did give many results, since there are a lot of ninjas who can open the inner gates. Of course, not everyone can open them all, however, there are several with the ability to do so. In third place is a ninja who, after 20 years of constant training, managed to access the eight inner gates, with which he saved not only his son from a terrifying situation, but also made history by facing the most powerful generation of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist all alone, Might Day, the so-called Eternal Ginning, is undoubtedly a ninja who deserves all our respect. In second place is Rock Lee. While in first place is Might Guy, and well, basically these two shinobis don't need any introduction or anything like that. Throughout Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, we saw how hard they tried and supported each other to overcome all the obstacles and difficult situations such as Rock Lee's surgery. Of my guy, there is not much more to add. His confrontation against Madara Uchiha in his Sage of the Six Paths mode says more than enough of his reputation. We hope you liked the video. We will be uploading more content of interest and I'll see you in the next video.